I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, King of Pentacles, and it's with the Page of Wands. Now, the King of Pentacles actually speaks about success, um, authority, tradition. Um, when you hear the word Pentacles, that can indicate money, cash, coins, finance, income. Um, success and money matters. Now, when this card appears in a reading, it's actually a sign that now is not the time to be a maverick, but it's the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this card stands for actual person in your life, it can refer to someone who's very masculine, could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If it's referring to a person in your life. Just know that this is someone who you can, yes, you can believe in and trust absolutely. Now, it's with the Page of Wands. With the Page of Wands, people are warm, ambitious, high achievers. Now, this is not an actual person. The Page of Wands can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So... Try to stay focused. This card, it does indicate that things you started some time ago, they could start to come to life, start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a positive energy. But we have to supply the follow-through. Because of the energy of easy distraction and needing, and needing to try to stay focused. So, Cancer, the recent past energy, King of Pentacles clarified by this page of Pentacles. Now, what I'm getting is that um, you, you were dealing with someone who um, wanted success with you. They wanted... A successful connection, a su successful relationship with you. Like I said, King of Pentacles is about success. Um, they could have wanted the connection to um, be more secure or committed um, and stable. And this person was always reaching out to you with messages of love and affection, as the Page of Wands does. Now, this person could have been younger than you by a few days, a few weeks, or maybe even um, a few years, because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that does indicate a student, youth, immaturity, or someone who could be younger than you. So for some of you, this was your person, and yeah, they had a lot of passion for you, so they were always reaching out to you always wanting to be with you and like I said they wanted to secure and commit this connection with you so that's a recent past energy between you and your person but let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you now we got the Empress and it's with the chariot now this Empress she doesn't play by the rules she actually has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, this does not mean she'll always get her way, but she's actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and your intuitive side. She can be about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that this will always mean financially. Because... We all know that there's many types of wealth and riches in life. And money is like actually only one of them, but the Empress can encompass any or all of them. Yeah, the Empress can have it all. Now, it's with the chariot. The chariot indicates a lot of energy. It goes really fast. But keep in mind, it's not a free-for-all energy. It's actually directed. It's controlled. And it has a goal in mind, so 
when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes, what your dreams involve, and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, it's about being determined, ambitious, ambitious, and getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. So it's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Remember, though, you're going to have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. So, coming up, Cancer, Empress clarified by this chariot. Like I said, your person, they, they got a lot of passion for you. They want success with you. They want to make something, they want to make this stable and committed, this connection with you. Um... What I'm getting, because the Empress is here, um, the Empress can also be a, a time when you find men and women alike suddenly finding you far more attractive, both in terms for friendship and romance. So, I'm, I'm picking up on that a lot of you Kansas, you're, you're very attracted to your person. Yeah. Very, very attractive. You could be with someone who's really good looking. Um, but they're the type that like to take things really fast. Yeah, because the chariot is here. It goes really fast. Yeah. They just like to jump right on into things. Yeah, so I don't know if that's a plus or a minus for you. Um, when you get the chariot, it's possible that... You're tempted to go too far, too fast, or someone is pressuring you that way. So, coming up, your person could be trying to get you to do something. And it could feel like they're pressuring you. Yeah, you might be tempted to do it, too. Because you, you're, yeah, you're attracted to this person. Yeah. And... Um, they put a lot of passion for you. The good thing about the chariot, though, it's planned. It has a goal and a dream. Or it's it's about determination and being ambitious. So it's just not a crazy type of free-for-all energy. It's got a goal in mind, so your person is probably planning something for the two of you. But they just, they're just... Yeah, the type that likes to jump right in and just do it now. But, yeah, so coming up, your person could be planning something. But it's like in a rush type of thing, so I don't know if that's going to throw you off or not. But, um, yeah. For some of you, there, there's a lot of attraction between the both of you. You're very attracted to them. And they're very attracted to you, and they just like to just jump right on into things with you. And if it's not a, a physical attraction, it could be an inner, inner attraction where you're very attracted to their soul and their spirit. So, yeah. But anyway, that's what's coming up. Something is in the making here, and your person is going to want to just do it really fast. Yeah. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Three of Pentacles and it's with the Nine of Swords. Now, the Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in the tarot. Very positive, especially when it comes to work, career questions. Because like I said, when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that indicates money, cash, coins. Income, it's a good overall card in the deck. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you're not getting paid for it. Yeah, you see how, you see the Three of Pentacles, it's a card above the word challenge. These two people, they're at this man's feet. They're kneeling down. And he's showing them, like, what he does for a living or what he just created. 
He's showing them something, and they're like, wow. So it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. No, you will not. Now, it's with this Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is showing that there could be a need to guard against feelings of anxiety. So if you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period that can actually cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's what a beauty really is. So cancer the challenge, three of pinnacles. Clarified by this Nine of Swords. Yeah, so like I said, um, there's something your person is trying to get you to do. And, and it seems like with the Three of Pentacles here, the card above the word challenge, they're trying to... Um, they could be trying to make you an offer. Because the Three of Pentacles can be about some benefits. Maybe offering some type of benefits. Three of Pentacles can be about teamwork, collaboration, skill. Or they could be just trying to impress you with something. But whatever it is, it's causing, causing you anxiety. Yeah, so you could be having some sleepless nights over something that they want you to do. And they, like I said, they're the type that likes things to go really fast. Yeah. Hmm. And then they're trying to convince you. That's what I'm getting with the Three of Pentacles. Trying to convince you how it's going to benefit you or it will benefit the connection. Yeah, something that they they have it all planned out. I don't know what it is, but it's causing you anxiety. And they want it to happen now. I don't know what it is. I wish I could tell you. You're worried about it. Maybe it's maybe you're so worried worried about it because they they want to answer now. They want it to happen now. You know how long, they don't want to give you any time to think about it. But anyway, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the tower. And it's with the Hermit. Now the tower can be about um, trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster because you have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people, situations that you've counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. This doesn't have to be drastic because we know change is the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be. Because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart. No, it's with the Hermit. The Hermit can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card in the Tarot. Being in the frame of mind where you need some time alone, don't be afraid to take it. 
even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This could also be a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. But you gotta make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs, needs of, not just worrying about the wants and the needs of others. So, yeah, the outcome, the tower, clarified by the hermit. So, yeah, it seems like you don't, you don't appreciate your person putting a rush on you like that. You could be the type that like to take time to think, think, think things through, weigh the pros and cons. But they're trying to convince you that it has benefits to it. You could benefit from it. Or the connection would benefit from it. I don't know. It could be something as simple as moving in together. And, well, that's not really simple for everyone. But, or it could be something like moving across country where they live. Maybe they're long distance because the cherry can be about long distance. And they should date this person. Probably just, they just want to be with you now. They're tired of being apart from you. So it could be something like that. And they're trying to convince you how it's going to benefit the connection by you moving closer this way instead of them spending so much money on flights and flying and transportation getting to and from you, then they can just spend the money on you. Three of Pentacles is about money, some benefits, but they they want it. They want to know now. This person really wants to be with you. Well, the Tower card is here, so <laughs> you you could be dealing with someone that they don't like to. They don't like to. Have, they don't like to get no for an answer. So it could feel like things might be falling apart. Because you're not giving them an answer. You're just, you're kind of like stuck with anxiety. So it feels like the connection is falling apart. It could seem like um, um, you could be wanting some time alone to think things through. Or your person could be... You can feel like your person is not making the connection a priority anymore. They could be going into hermit mode, or you could be doing this. But it could feel like it, like like it's falling apart. Because they 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 um they want you to say yes, like right now. So. Yeah, like I said, they want success with you. And there's a, there's a lot of attraction here. So, it just feels like it could be crumbling, the connection. But I'm getting once the both of you clear your mind, decide where you're going from here, and overcome the anxiety, then I, I think the two of you will get back on track. Yeah. So, Cancer, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case 
this, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, or situation. Just take the reading for however it resonates. Because, once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. I'm wishing all of you the best of 2021. Once again, have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.